morning vlog. <laughs> it's day what? Like two, but also kind of like day three because I got here and I had a day kind of. Oh my God. It's like hard for me to sleep because I'm like so excited to be here. I woke up like four hours after going to bed and then like another two hours and then I just like couldn't keep sleeping. Like I couldn't sleep in. So I was like, okay, well, I'm just tossing and turning wide awake. Like I want to run around the town. So I'm going to get up. Also, my stomach's been growling i really haven't been eating that much because i'm just like so excited and like like nervous i guess that like i don't feel like hunger the same i don't know but i think i need to go to the family mart because my stomach's been growling for hours so i think i'm gonna run down there right now and grab some breakfast let's go do that good morning oh wait good morning today's little breakfast is gonna be cheers <laughs> Mm hmm so bomb and then i got this little i've never had this before tiny shrimp tempura and seasoned rice so this looks super fun and exciting but i have a feeling i'm gonna love it why do i feel like this would be bomb in the microwave i'm so good 160 watts 10 seconds 500 watts 30 seconds yeah i read japanese and what a baddie another salmon little onigiri and then i've never had their oh my god this is three sandwiches uh, sorry i'm not awake yet <laughs> i've never had their tuna sandwiches so i got tuna this one also has a ham and lettuce and then the cheese and egg so so excited i also got mini sriracha but this one is the super hot version um it's not super hot spoiler alert it's still good though and then i got my little liquid vitamins and energy drinks i don't know how much I'm, of this i'm gonna need because it's like a lot of like carbohydrates hydrates i'm pretty sure so yeah i'm literally shaking i need to eat something this one has a lot of collagen i don't know if i showed you guys these already but i, I drank them on tiktok it has vitamin like a b c's hyaluronic acid collagen all good things and last but not least a latte cheers mom for the money here's my friday afternoon snack cheers mom for the money mm-hmm mm -hmm. i know that's right i know that's right and all this was like six bucks. I love it here. Okay, I just heated up the little shrimp patty. Cheers. Mm, mm, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, mm, I fuck with that. It's like, um, I'm trying to be realistic with my like 10 out of 10 bullshits because like everything's like so good. But I give it like a seven out of 10. Like it's amazing. It's not the best thing I've ever had in the whole wide world, but it is so bomb. Okay, just downed that little rice ball thing. Now let's get on into the sandwich. I also bought black pepper. I don't know if I've showed you guys this because these just need a little spice, but I'm also a super spicy girl. And a fucking weirdo at that. I'm definitely gonna add some black pepper. I'm gonna try the tuna first. This bread looks so insane. Like, that's not real. But it's, like, so real. Any hosey. So that was a lot of black pepper. Let's try it first just as is. Mm, mm hmm Wow. I think tuna might be my new wave. Like, the egg is really good, but this is just, like, what I want a tuna sandwich from Subway to taste like. Even though this literally has nothing on it, except for, like, quite de tuna. It's amazing. Me douses it in fucking so much sriracha. Mm, 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 mm hmm Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> mm. It's, like, I don't even know why I'm, like, rating the food, because I just want to say 10 every single time. All food in Japan is a 10 out of 10. I said it. Oh my God. You guys, I haven't even given you the, the lore rundown. Oh my God. So many psychotic things have happened. Um, But, but I'm just going to talk about last night. So last night, mm -mm, bring it back. Before I even left to Japan, <laughs> Tana and I, actually me, Tana, what? No, Tana, Trappy and I went on Hinge and switched my location to Shibuya area. And we were trying to, you know, peruse the guys. And I was packing, Trappy's watching and Tana's like the one swiping for me or lack thereof swiping. It is just so funny. Like the guys, she was like, she wanted to swipe for me i was like girl you know that's not my type at all in the slightest and like literally trevi and tana are like oh this is a good guy and i'm like oh and i'm just like it's just not my type not my type not my type for like everyone so they tried to swipe for me for so fucking long couldn't really find anyone like literally she just ended up giving up and then since i've been here you know alone the past two whatever days okay wait next we're gonna try just the regular egg sandwich okay <laughs> I'm putting pepper on it. Um, yeah, since I've been here the past couple of days alone, I'm like, okay, let me go on Hinge. Maybe I'll go meet up with someone, get a drink. I've never met with someone off of Hinge, ever. Um, and also, I don't even know if they would have Raya out here, but like, I have been on the Raya list for a hundred fucking years. Can't get accepted. Have like a hundred friend requests. And like, even someone that worked at Raya or something was like, oh yeah, let me get you on. And then like, just like, I don't know what happened to that. Whatever. Um, I put way too much black pepper on this, but that's fine. Cheers. Let's try the egg. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like the egg when it's mixed with like the ham, like when it's like this whole thing, you know what I mean? I don't know, 
know actually i might be taking that back wow maybe i do like it separate actually because something about the ham texture i'm not really like a sandwich meat kind of gal with texture freaks me out and like that texture with the egg texture kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies but i think i could do them separate way better all right so as i was saying so last night i'm on hinge i've been like hinging for like two days i'll like go on hinge when i'm on like the train going somewhere or like when i get back like right before bed i'll like go on hinge see if i see anyone why do i attract short kings and like why are like the hottest guys or like just like not even hottest i'm just saying like i'm going to hell i'll admit that but i'm like my type always ends up being a goddamn short king and i was having like a great conversation with this guy last night like he's seems super sweet he's like from here but it's like lived in the states whatever we had a good conversation i'm five six this man's profile says that he's five seven i'm just when i looked at his instagram like i can tell he's five seven because he's honestly built like one of my exes but like way better like way hotter looking honestly oh uh, i'm just gym rap short ass king <laughs> super sweet oh it's funny though because he hit me with one of those like maybe you'll be the first person i meet off of this app and i'm like same because i quite literally don't have any other options and i'm being really lenient from like the swiping i'm like maybe i could just be his friend type shit like like that that's what i'm like matching with you know like just someone to go get a drink with like have a good combo whatever like i'm not like looking for like the love of my life but if i do that's perfect anyways yeah he's like maybe you'll be the first person i meet off of this app and i'm like i have a feeling you're either being honest or like you meet every foreign girl that comes here because like he could he gives like fuckboy energy like his whole instagram and also profile was just his body and like he is like a body he does like body competitions type thing like he works out we get it but super fit <clears throat> as i'm stuffing my face with everything from 7-eleven <laughs> I don't know, I'll probably meet up with them later today, maybe. I'm just such a pussy. Like, I just, I love having someone with me. Something about me being alone makes me so shy. But when I literally have, like, I could have a dog with me and I'd be, like, the most outgoing person in the world. That's literally why Winnie is my emotional support animal, seriously. I wish she was here. I was gonna, like, eat the ham part of the sandwich, but I'm gonna, like, like, I'm so full. This is the thing, I eat, like, four bites and then I'm like, woo. And, like, yes, I know I fully just ate two sandwiches and a giant rice ball, but, like, these sandwiches are, like, like, this is the, the thinness of, like, a regular American slice of bread. Not kidding. What the fuck was that? What was that? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Let's get glam. Let's go to Shibuya today. Or maybe go see some cherry blossoms. I also realized I'm I'm staying right next to like the Minoka River. I think it's the Minoka. Min Minoka? Min Minoka River? I don't know. Um, sorry, I just woke up. Meguro. Meguro River. Like what? Where did I, where was I, what was I doing there? What? But yeah, I'm staying next to one of like the prettiest rivers that I literally have like saved as my screensaver on my desktop. And I've been like, I literally thought that that was like not a real place. Like I just searched like cherry blossoms in Japan. And this photo has popped up of this river that I'm literally t a 10 minute walk away from. <laughs> Like, it's literally just a couple streets down. And I'm like, there's no way this is real. Like, it's like one of like the landmarks. Like, oh, you need to see this river if you come to Japan. Insert photo here of what it's supposed to look like. Apparently the lanterns glow on the weekends. It's Wednesday or is it Thursday? I don't know, but I will be here through the weekend. So I'm so excited, but yeah, um, I might, I'm definitely gonna just like walk past that today. I'm just gonna get glam, go see the cherry blossoms over there. I'm gonna go to Shibuya today. Crazy, I haven't been there yet, but it's actually beautiful out today. Sun is setting, feels nice outside. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna hop in the shower and I'll see you in a sec. Hey y'all. Okay, I did just get out of the shower. Also, how I'm mean, like my hair just keeps like falling out of curls into like a cute little like blowout. Miss Kim always slays. We know that. Duh. <laughs> Thank God she slayed me before I left. She also like did my roots because I was looking a little scary. Just got out of the shower. I am in the same clothes because I was not about to like, you know, waste a whole nother clean top when this top smells like baccarat rouge 540 babe like i i smell fine <laughs> i have broken like a nail or three a day and i just keep gluing on new ones i did want to get my nails done here but i've just been doing other shit so nothing to complain about really i'm not bothered by it probably get them done though like on the second wing probably when i'm like all out of these girls Hold please i need to rip this nail off yeah all right so before i really get into it let's drink some of this energy drink even though my hands are already shaking whatever cheers did i show you guys this i don't know if i showed you i think i just showed my mom yeah these drinks are so good they're little like jelly drinks this is like pure energy i think it's literally like just carbs mm. 128 calories mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yum tastes like a little like melon candy but also like kind of banana mm. Mm -hmm. and now let's drink our little beauty one i still have that one left but this one oh this one tastes like emergency like the little fizzy drink that you drink when you're sick this one's always so much thicker and now it's everywhere amazing mm -hmm.
thank God. Now I have my hyaluronic acid on my face and in my face. I'm a mess. I'm not a morning person. But I do love how like the time difference just made me like wake up at 8 a.m. every day here or like 7 a.m. Which honestly is a little bit too early for Japan. A lot of things open at 11 and that's why I need to move here. <laughs> Hello. I actually need to message my baby daddy back. So what if I meet up with the short king and I get married? That would be ideal. You get a green card. I get a green card. And we get a kid, like, come on. I need to message him back. I didn't message him back last night. I was so tired. I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna say. Yeah, there's a lot of people visiting Japan right now, obviously because it's cherry blossom season. And so there's like a lot of people, honestly from the US and like London, all over the world um, that are visiting here that are like on hinge. And I'm just like, mm. I don't know. I feel like it's like a lot of like nerdy people, which is kind of funny. Like I'm also nerdy. <laughs> I'm so fucking nerdy. Like, sorry, just whatever. But yeah, I'm also kind of nerdy. I don't think I really fit in that box. You know, I want like a edgy nerd. There's just so much to ask for. I'd also love to meet someone that lives here and um, has like an Xbox or something where we could play Fortnite. Like I'm fiending for Fortnite. I open up my TikTok and I see like, you know, obviously like Ninja playing and whatever. And I'm like, I want to play Fortnite. I didn't play like Fortnite the whole week before I left. Which was like, okay, Ashley, come on. Not a big deal. But like, it is. I don't know. Like it just updated. Like, is it going to update by the time I get back? Yeah, it is. But like, I don't know if it's going to be like a full on update. Hopefully not. Because I don't know. I've been having so much fun on floor lately. All right, guys, I've been glamming. And you know, the whole time I was glamming, you know what I was craving so dearly? Let me just show you. One of these girls, but let's not just uh, drink it. Let's shotgun it. It's ice fucking cold. So this is gonna be difficult. Let's go on the balcony. No, because you can take the girl out of Vegas, baby. <laughs> you can't take the Vegas out the girl. Hold up, I'm about to do some ratchet shit. So I'm out here on my balcony and I was feeling a little thirsty and I thought maybe we could do something fun together. <laughs> I'll clean that up, don't worry. Now that half the beer is gone, goodbye. Good morning. Y'all, yeah, check this one out. <laughs> It's so pretty over here. So pretty. I can't get enough. I want to be buried right here. Or in there. It's so gorgeous. I'm so sorry. I forgot about y'all. Y'all were here first. I just ate at Shibuya Gyoza. I will insert my TikTok because it is the best thing I've literally had thus far in Japan. I just know that this is going to make me absolutely explode. I did not know there was supposed to be egg on here, but I'm excited. I teared up once again. First bite. Also my first Asahi draft. Kanbai. This is crazy. It almost tastes like you're like drinking melted butter, but cold. And it's just like whipped melted butter cold. <laughs> so yummy this was absolutely insane it was gyoza in spicy broth with like fried not fried egg uh, scrambled egg whoa amazing <laughs> guys he's calling me right now Ew, guys, I'm so freaked out. I just went to record this and this guy called me. Okay, so I felt like I needed to jump in here real time because I could not listen to Drunk Ashley try to tell this story at all. I went on the date with this guy. We had a blast. We played darts, had a good time. Only drank vodka waters with lime because like I said, he goes to the gym and he was not down to drink a beer, you know? He just had straight vodka. And I was like, well, Slay, at least we're drinking vodka because I'm a vodka girl, if you know, you know. So we drink vodka, have a good time, whatever. Play darts, two rounds of darts, takes a minute. And then it's time to go home and we get a taxi. And then he's like, oh, like, what's your address? And I'm like, what's your address? He's like, no, let's go to yours. And like, I don't know. I just thought he was going to like drop me off. So then I was like, oh, okay, like here's my address. And then like, once we get to mine, we're like in my neighborhood. We're not like at my house, but we're in front of the place that I'm living at. And he like goes to pay for it. And I'm like, oh no, I'll pay for it. Cause you got the drinks or whatever. I'll pay for this. And he's like, no, 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 no. Like, let me pay. And I'm like, like, wait so you're getting out with me so you think you're coming back to mine like you just assumed that you were like gonna come over to my like airbnb and i don't know it just it gave me like an impression that he like thought like i was like down for whatever and i'm like super not like at all i'm not that kind of girl that just like you know 
I don't like to go on a first date and just hook up with you. Like, no. I just met you like two hours ago and you think you're coming back to mind to like hook up with me or something. Like, I don't know. I didn't want to fuck around and find out. And like, also, stranger danger? Like, I'm in a different country. I don't know if you're the Ted Bundy of fucking Japan. Like, I don't know you. Like, you're not coming over, babe. So we get out of the taxi and we're just kind of like having this conversation. He was like, oh, like, where do you live? And I was like, oh, like, I live over here. He's like, well, which one? Like, let's go. And I was like, oh yeah about that like sorry if like you felt like like i was like down to just like go back to my place i thought you were dropping me off and i said like sorry i'm just like not that kind of girl and he's like oh my god i feel so bad like yada yada like just like felt awful and i was like yeah no it's okay it's just like you're not coming in like there's not like you're not gonna convince me not that he was like necessarily trying to but he was just like yeah i'm like not that kind of a guy either i don't know what i was thinking i was just like spur of the moment like whatever and then so i was like yeah okay like i'm gonna go now and he's like oh my god you're never gonna talk to me and i was like yeah but like i didn't say that but i was like yeah super uh, I don't know, it was just weird vibes. And like, also, I don't know if we were like having the conversation. Like, I don't know if I made this up in my head or if this actually happened where we were talking about serial killers. Like, what if, like, I don't know if I brought it up like, oh, haha, like, what if you're gonna kill me? It's like, oh my God. Like, I don't know if we actually got to this topic of talking about like him liking serial killers or if I made that up in my head just to like, drunk Ashley was like, oh no, what if he's a serial killer? And then I made up this conversation that he likes to watch those movies. I don't know if that, that conversation happened or not, but regardless, that was in my head that like, I'm not letting this guy in my place. I don't know, I had that like weird instinct. Like, no, you're not, like, I'm not gonna, gonna get trapped with this buff ass dude where I can't defend myself in my Airbnb. Like, and there's no one there to like help me kick you out or like, I don't know, what if I die? Anyways, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go walk home. And he's like, okay, like, I guess I'll talk to you later, like, bye, like, gets a taxi, and so I walked a long way home, I walk around the block, I stop at McDonald's, TW, sorry, I don't know, it was the only thing on my fucking street, and I'm, like, in the McDonald's just trying to, like, I don't know, I'm, like, gathering my thoughts, like, what just happened, like, I'm so dumb, like, why did I even go on this date, like, I was, like, getting, like, upset, honestly, and, like, just, like, felt, like, a little, like, objectified, like, in a way, I don't know, you know, like, I'm, like, what do guys, like, just want that, and so, yeah, I just, like, upset, clearly, in, in the clips, that's why I'm, like, not... <laughs> showing you them but um yeah and also they just drunk ashley like it, talking really slow like it was just not fun so yeah um i don't know overall he's a really nice guy but that was our first and only date and my first and only hinge date so yeah moral of the story is don't bring anyone back to your house especially if it's like your first time meeting them you get like a little bit of a weird vibe like listen to your gut instinct i could be dead but i'm not because he didn't come over and maybe he's not a serial killer i don't know so there's that so with all that being said, this is the end of the video. There are plenty more Japan vlogs, like so many Japan vlogs. I can't believe I'm on day one and I have 30 vlogs. So if you guys want to watch them, be sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you get notified next time I upload, which should be soon. Honestly, this one just got pushed back because I was traveling a lot, a lot more and I didn't bring my laptop, so that was really unfortunate. But now that I'm back home, I am back up and editing. So yeah, a lot more vlogs to come. Amari's probably gonna be the next one. And then Mario's gonna be in the ones after that. So I'm so excited for you guys to see. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.